Hello again, everyone. How's everyone doing? How good is it to be back in person? Come on, come on. How good is it to be back in person? How good is it? I really want, I want to do a wave or something. Can we do a wave? Can we do like a, everyone on this side does their hands up in the air and we go all the way across here? Can we try that? All right, we'll start here. Three, two, one, go. And then all the way across. Look at that. OK, good. <laughs> I'm just filling the time while they're doing that. <laughs> OK, so um, hands up if you ha have actually engaged, rather than just reading about it, hands up if you actually engaged in Web3, I guess a broad term, but have you bought an NFT? Have you uh, bought it? Do you own any cryptocurrency? Have you taken part in DAOs? Hands up. OK, a good amount. Hands up if you didn't know anything about Web3 before today. So it's a small amount. Hopefully, you feel like you're, you're becoming more au fait with the, some of the terminology and you, and you understand it. What we're talking today about is, is decentralizing startup investing. You'll have noticed that a big um, theme of this conference, a, a big theme of Startup Grind's global community and, and the events we've been running over the last two to three months, uh, especially, has been, um, has been Web3, OK? Um, it hasn't always been that way. We've, we've, we've started doing that more recently. It hasn't always been that way. Um, where am I pointing this at? Clicker's not working. Can someone help me with the clicker? Uh, can we go to the next slide, please? So it hasn't always been that way. Uh, this isn't working. Can someone? F yeah? OK. So um, here we go. So crypto and Web3 have meant different things for us over the years. Uh, I'm really sorry to pick on our, our great and fearless leader, uh, Derek Anderson. If we could also have the, um, the notes up on, on the, on the right-hand slide, that would be great. Uh, sorry to single, <laughs> single out Derek Anderson. Um, unfortunately, he is the person in our team who tweets the most. So we basically had a lot of fun in the last couple of weeks just thinking, what are, what are some of the things that we can bring up to, to, to sort of um, embarrass Derek, but also show like, how far we've come in terms of the themes of what we're doing? Uh, this, is a, this is a tweet from last year. Derek posted uh, about 2015. This guy with the, the arrow pointing at him, he, he came up and he said, hey, I want to buy a ticket for Global Conference. It's $600. Um, I don't have any money. And we were like, I don't know, how do we respond to that? He said, well, actually, I do have money. I have Bitcoin. And we said, well, that's not money. You can't pay for a ticket with Bitcoin. Uh, we, we talked to him for a bit. As you can see, here's a picture. Um, but as Derek said, we basically then threw him out of the building. Uh, that Bitcoin would have been worth over 100K today. So we didn't know what we were talking about. Uh, <laughs> this next one here is, uh, is Derek talking. I'm, I'm really sorry, Derek. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get it in the neck after this. Uh, is, is Derek basically saying, uh, yeah, the technology is not ready yet, but it will probably be ready next year, uh, said every blockchain company ever. Uh, you know, underst <laughs> understanding that you know, things do take time, but uh, focusing here on, 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 on blockchain technology companies, uh, talking here a little bit about uh, the, some of the strangest conversations he's ever had in, crypto, in, in, in tech or to do with people in the crypto world. Uh, and then finally here, trying to teach his kids about money uh, and the value of it by saying cryptocurrency is not where you should put your money because you will lose it very, very quickly. Uh, and then he bought some Dogecoin and made a very tasty profit within just 15 minutes, <laughs> which is quite funny. Um, the thing is, now we know better, OK? We learned that Web3 is a lot more than some of the strange conversations we've had over the years. Um, it is represented by three key principles. So the, 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 the principles that have resonated with us the most as an organization are transparency, decentralized decision making, and community ownership. And in reality, Startup Grind's community has been built on these. In fact, we've been living it for 12 years since we were founded in 2010. Most of you who've engaged with Startup Grind over the last yeah, 10, 12 years will know that we are the world's largest startup community. We support founders, startups, creators, and innovators across 600 chapters and 120 countries. And each of those chapters is made up of um, contributors who are kind of volunteers and who, who work to, to support the companies and the, the local ecosystems at the grassroots in a decentralized and transparent way. The only thing that has been missing for us uh, really is ownership, giving the people who are contributing to the, uh, the global community that we run, um, you know, helping out, supporting, uh, giving them ownership in the success of Startup Grind, giving, giving them a say in where we go, what we do, and what we create for, for the community. 
This is a map I love. Like I always show, I don't know how well you can see it on the screen. I'm gonna sort of stand to the, to the, to the stage right. Um, every single one of those dots is a chapter that is run by an amazing chapter director. Um, most, a lot of whom are here today, right? We have 600 chapters, probably like 70 or 80 or so I think are here. Obviously it's difficult for people to travel across the world, but every single one of those is run by a, a chapter director. Um, they run it with, with autonomy. They, they, can, they, can, they can basically take the values um, that Startup Grind purports, so give first, help others, make friends, and they can use the, that structure and what it means to them to find people in their local community that they think can, can, can help others and they run events to help bring people together. That's been you know, built up over time, um, but we've just been waiting for the right opportunity, really, to involve the community in the startup growing direction, in, where, in what we do and how we, how, we, how we continue to give back in an even more of a scalable way. Now, having learned everything that we've learned, having engaged with the people that we've engaged with, Bringing in these amazing speakers like you've just seen um, on the stage before me. We've got a panel afterwards with, with some amazing people. Bringing these people into the community has helped educate us as well on how we can capitalize on that. We now believe that decentralized, community-owned organizations are the future. And today, we're here to make a very, very special announcement about the next generation of Startup Grind. Please give a very warm welcome to our head of Web3 strategy, Alex Banning, who's going to come on and tell you more. Thank you, everyone, and uh, thank you for that warm introduction, AGF. Let's give it up one more time for being back in person here at Startup Climb 2022. <laughs> Very happy to be uh, here in person with all of you and to talk about this great announcement that we have today. Um, as Alex demonstrated, we have had a, a comically mixed track record with Web3. Uh, I give Derek a hard time for it every day. Um, but the announcement that we have today is looking to change just that. And what we're announcing today will allow us to better support startups, give our community a voice, and allow that community to be directly involved in the startup process. And that is why, ladies and gentlemen, I am very excited to announce the SG DAO. Thank you. Thank you. The SG DAO is the next generation of startup grind. The SG DAO is our brand new accelerator that is truly by the people, for the people, and most importantly, owned by the people. It allows us to bring together the values, principles, and structure that AGF spoke about that we already have here in Startup Grind into one coherent organization. The amazing Startup Grind community can now be directly involved with sourcing, supporting, and investing of the startups in our community. And this is something that the Startup Grind community has been desperately asking us for, to be more involved, to be doing deals, to be sourcing companies, doing due diligence, and now I can happily say we can offer just that. Now, I'm sure many of you have a lot of burning questions, the most important of which is probably, what is a DAO? Now, I'm sure plenty of you have heard what a DAO is. Maybe you've heard of the Constitution DAO, which was a group of people who came together uh, earlier this year to tr attempt to buy a, one of the original copies of the Constitution. Quite an ambitious feat, but they were able to raise $46 million along the way. Though many of you in this audience probably know what a DAO is, for those who don't, it is simply a decentralized, autonomous organization, meaning that there's no central leadership, there is tasks that are being taken care of on an individual basis, and the organizational structure is fluid to accomplish any goal at hand. DAOs are really quite interesting organizations, but for us, it is simply a way to organize a distributed group of people in a trustless manner to accomplish a common goal. DAOs are really unique for two uh, really great reasons. The first, they have a bottom-up hierarchy. They rely on group consensus and the wisdom of the crowd for their own success. And second, they are open to anyone who wants to join. And incentives on participation, collaboration, and effort are built into their structure. What does that mean for us here at Startup Grind? It means that the amazing community, the same way that it is currently laid out, is being able, it, it, we're able to transfer it into a new era of the web. We're able to come together to really and truly finally support our startup, uh, our, the startups in our community directly. Now, using this type of organization, the SG DAO will, will enable us to directly invest in companies while being able to share that success of those companies with the whole community. And really, a great way to think about DAOs is this quote. 
DAOs are internet communities with a, cap, with a shared cap table and bank account, which is a great, great quote from Cooper Turley. The SG DAO for us is simply a legal and organizational structure to organize our community. And our main goal will be to help startups in our network grow their product, meet investors, and raise capital. SG DAO members will be able to buy in with a membership fee and then invest alongside our LPs directly into our portfolio companies. In addition to receiving a return on that buy-in, the, the DAO members will be able to receive a patronage dividend by supporting the accelerator in a variety of tasks, such as making investor introductions or, ho or helping um, cohort companies individually. And because of these unique features that the SG DAO has, that makes it truly the world's first community-owned accelerator. The accelerator will consist of 10 companies who will participate in our program for 12 weeks that we will be running three times each year. The key themes of this accelerator program will cover things like product development, sales and marketing, culture and leadership, as well as fundraising. And our end goal is simple, have our, our portfolio companies go on to raise amazing seed rounds at ever-increasing valuations. And by leveraging the power of Web3, our community, and Startup Grind's amazing network, we have created a truly global accelerator. This accelerator will be supported by the membership of the DAO. We will have working groups performing due diligence, local chapter directors providing deal flow, and our members supporting the startups in any way that they need. And, that, and today, ladies and gentlemen, I'm happy to announce that you can join. The waitlist is now open. We are accepting both member and, applica and startup applications and our first cohort will be this fall. You can either uh, scan the QR code here, type the URL in at the top, or check your email for a message you should have just received from us to find out more information about the DAO and to head to our website to receive more information. To the companies that are accepted for this upcoming cohort, we'll be investing $100,000 upfront into these companies to support them with all of their needs. For all of you looking for a more in-person approach, I'll be standing outside the Fox Theater for the remainder of the day outside the pavilion, answering any and all questions that you may have. And last, and certainly not least, I'm excited to see each and every one of you in the DAO. Thank you, and I hope you enjoy the rest of Startup Grind Global 2022.